welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another massive craft supply haul. I went a little bit wild since the last haul and bought from lots of different companies. So in today's video, you're gonna see products from Hobbycraft, Craft Stash, Printable Heaven, Sizzix, Hunky Dory, Lime Tree Crafts, and a few things I picked up when I was in town from The Works and Sostrian Green. I hope you enjoy this video and let's get started. So the first place that I bought from was Printable Heaven. I've never ordered from them before. I got an ad come up on my Facebook for them and they were having like this massive sale where there was loads and loads of things that were a pound. So a couple of small die sets here from X Cut, but I really like this little star set with all these cute different shaped stars. Little star dies are always really, really handy and I use them quite a lot. So I thought they'd be really good to add to the stash. I really like this one. This would be great for Christmas cards. And then also got these arrows, which again, I thought would be really, really handy to have. Great for masculine or more gender neutral geometric cards for about a pound each. I don't think you can really go wrong with those. Also from X-Cut, I got these two embossing folders. So this one I thought was really cool. This reminds me of like art deco kind of style. And I thought that would be really cool to emboss into mirror cardstock or metal or colored cardstock and then do one of those techniques where you ink up the embossing folder and this one as well which is a six by six embossing folder so it's a little bit bigger and this one is all like cakes and cupcakes you've got like little battenbergs in here little cupcakes and i just thought that was really nice i'm not sure why the printing seems to be in a different place to the pattern underneath i don't know if you can you can see that i mean it's, it's not difficult to see on the embossing folder where the embossing will go so i'm not too fussed about that and not when i've only paid like a couple of pounds for it and I got these stamp sets as well. I think these were a pound or two pounds each. I've got the paper pad to match these and also the big Jammy Dodger stamp that they do in this range. Uh, I think I've actually, I've actually got a video on my channel using that stamp. So if you want to watch that, I'll put the link to it up in the cards for you. But I couldn't really resist these because they were like cute little biscuits. This one's got like a little custard cream. There's a rich tea finger, an, a nice biscuit, a bourbon. There's a Battenberg there, a wafer, a cupcake and a sweet. And I just really like the art style on these. I think it's really nice and sketchy. And then there was also the sentiment set to go with them. So I thought I'd grab this. These kind of collections from Paper Mania are usually limited edition so if they're like reduced by this much i thought they're not going to be available for much longer so i'll just grab them while i can it'd be really fun to do a video using up that paper pad that i've got and combining it with the stamp sets i think that would be that would be a really fun video to make so if you would like me to make a video like that let me know in the comments and then the last thing i got always handy to have in the craft room is this big pack of double-sided sticky pads there's 320 in here and i think this was like pound for the whole pack so i thought i would grab those to add to the stash i've not got many of these sticky pads left and these are the size i kind of like i like to be able to cut them into smaller pieces if i need to and this order from printable heaven came really really fast so i would definitely order from them again some really really good bargains on that website speaking of bargains I also made an order with Sizzix. Uh, I don't think I've ever ordered directly from Sizzix before, but they had this huge sale on and a lot of their dye and stamp sets were reduced to like less than three pounds. So I grabbed a few that I liked the look of. It did take a little while for this to come, but not. it wasn't too bad. The printable heaven order came a lot quicker than this. So I got two embossing folders. This one is called the Staggered Chevrons. I just thought that was a really nice, interesting pattern. Again, really reminds me of like art deco and like 20s and 30s style so they have embossed it there on either mirror cardstock or metal and i thought that just looked really really nice this is a 3d embossing folder so it means it's extra chunky don't know if you can tell on the side there but it feels like really really thick and then similar to that one this one's also a 3d embossing folder and this one is called starfall and it makes this really cool pattern that got, sort of gets deeper and more impressed as you go towards the bottom. Again, they've cut this, they've embossed this one on mirror cardstock on metal and it just looks really, really nice. So I'm looking forward to trying those out. I don't think I have very many 3D embossing folders. So also got a few die sets. So there's this Tim Holtz Merry and Bright die set. I really like the font on this and you get some extra little pieces to go with it. There's six dies in this set and all the Sizzix die sets come in these little pockets, which I think is really good because you have something to store them in when you've got them as well. So I really like that one. I'm looking forward to using it on my Christmas cards. And these two kind of go together. These are the Urban Interiors and the Cozy Night In set. It'd be really, really easy to mix and match these dies together and make a huge variety of scenes with them. So I thought they were super fun 
fun and I think they were reduced to a couple of pounds each instead of like close to 20 pounds which is usually what these kind of die sets sell for this has got 20 dies in and this one has got 13 i think i can make some really nice new home cards with these if you are into making scrapbook layouts i think these would be great as well and they're kind of like mid-century modern style i'm sure if i've got that wrong someone's going to tell me in the comments <laughs> so really pleased i managed to get these because i've had my eye on these for a little while but i really didn't want to spend tons and tons of money on them so it was a really good opportunity during the sale and the last one is this set which is a big star themed set so you get five dies in here four of them are these big stars and then this is all one piece you can see a little bit better on the back so this would cut out of your card and you could back it with a different color i think this is just a really really nice one to create a really easy fast focal point on a card especially if you've made your background and you just want something that's just going to elevate it a little bit great for christmas cards i think Think, but you could use this on birthdays or new baby cards there's all kinds of different ways you could use this one and again stars are great to have in the stash because they can be used so many different ways this one is called the whoosh set I feel like i got a really good bargain on all these sizzix goodies so i'm looking forward to trying them so i also placed an order with hunky dory i saw these two sets on craft stash and i really really like them <laughs> i like the jumper the best i thought this is really fun and you could stitch so many different patterns into the front of this jumper and have a lot of fun with it there's also a hanger in here there's a sentiment that says warm wishes and then there's this patterned piece as well that you could add to a card the idea behind these is you cut them out and then you stitch into them with thread or wool or whatever else you want the dies are quite a lot bigger than i expected you'd have to use quite a big card uh, to pop this on but I think I can still make it work and I think it is, it is nice to have some larger dies instead of tiny ones so the bigger holes mean that you could use chunkier wool as well instead of just being limited to embroidery thread so I think I think that is good and I am looking forward to giving these a go for some Christmas cards I mean you can also make a wintry themed birthday card with this I think these are just really fun um, if you were going away somewhere I know that I struggle when I go on holiday because I don't want to take like, my entire craft room with me. So a good project to take away with you would be to cut a load of these and just take some thread and stitch a load of different patterns in. And then when you come home, you can just assemble them into a bunch of cards or tags or whatever else you like. This would make really fun Christmassy bunting as well. You could string them together. That would be really, really pretty. So there's loads of different ways you can use this. And then this is the other one that I got. This is a sentiment one. And basically what you do on this, this one's really big, is you stitch the holly to make little holly shapes. And there is an example on the front here. And you can obviously fill in the letters with a different colour or you can back it on a different colour of cardstock. I just thought this one was really, really nice. It is very big, this one. It does say designed to fit on a DL card. So that would be like a slimline card. So this would be great for a slimline card because it would take up the whole card and you don't really have to do a lot else. And obviously doing stitching does take some time. I have done it before for some cards and it does take quite a long time. But I think this one wouldn't be too bad because you only need really to use a couple of different colors. So you could kind of whiz through that pretty quickly. And this one doesn't have too many holes. So once you've decided what your pattern's gonna be, it's not, yeah, it's not too bad, I would say. So um, I think I do find these quite relaxing. I know they're not really for everyone because they're quite involved, but um, I really like these two. And I just thought I'd grab these two. I originally saw them on Craft Stash because they'd just been released, but I ended up going to Hunky Dory and getting them there instead. I wanted these as well, which I don't think they had on Craft Stash or they were cheaper on hunky dory or something but you know i do like to order directly from the manufacturer if i can and i place a different order at craft stash anyway so <laughs> um, so i got these four as well these are the moonstone minis and these are some new christmas ones they've come out with so you might have seen in my video using the violet studio paper pad that i used that little baby grow die for a lot of my cards and i really like the moonstones minis range i think it's quite new because i've only seen a few releases from them but they are how much are they i think they're they are 2.99 each i think and then on the hunky dory site they usually have four for 10 pounds which i think is pretty it's pretty good for a little die they're not too small they are really the perfect size for my kind of cards that i like to make so I thought I'd grab a few of these Christmas sentiments because I'm always looking for more Christmas sentiments that I really like. It's difficult to find some that are not like really traditional. They use a phrase that I would actually want to put on a card. Um, I don't really go for like the religious kind of sayings. So things that are a little bit more um, modern 
and less traditional is more my style so i've got the festive hugs which is a really nice modern kind of handwritten kind of font there's ho 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 which is quite a chunky font i like this because it's a little bit a little bit unusual there's also deck the halls here and winter wonderland all of these are different fonts which is always fun and each of them also has the shadow die so you can cut the shadow out of something else which I really appreciate when manufacturers include the shadow die because it just gives you so many more options and I think it makes it easier to glue onto things personally. <laughs> really pleased with those and also the stitch it dies. So I'm looking forward to using those on my Christmas crafting this year. Another online order. Oh, this is heavy. I was actually running out of white cardstock. Now, um, some of you might find it difficult to believe that I could actually run out of cardstock, the amount I buy, but <laughs> when you do videos like my last one where I made 42 cards out of a paper pad and I made all my own card bases, that, I, you know, I kind of decimated my white and craft cardstock stash. So I'd heard of Lime Tree Craft and I'd heard on one of the Facebook groups that their cardstock is really good. So I went on there to have a look and it was really, really affordable. I think I spent about 20 25 pounds and look how much cardstock I've got here like loads so um they also sent me some samples which we'll have a look at those in a minute so this is the craft cardstock and I purposely went for like heavyweight so this is a really chunky sturdy craft cardstock that will be great for card bases um it did say on the website what the weight was but some of them don't have the stickers on so I can't remember also got a couple of their smaller packs so this is just 10 sheets of 220 gsm and this is called warm mushroom and it's just similar to craft but a little bit different so i thought that would be nice to try out this one is a pale yellow called lemon zest 240 gsm this one and again there's 10 sheets i think these little packs are only a couple of pounds each which is a really great way to try them i really like this color and also i mean it was called lemon that's why i got it let's be real <laughs> also got this one which is ivory smooth this is 275 grams so this is a slightly off-white color it's always nice to have something slightly different gunmetal gray 290 gsm this one so this one's even more sturdy i thought that's nice as an alternative to black because it's quite dark but sometimes black can be a little bit you know too dark i did get black as well so this is a really nice sturdy black cardstock again that i would use for card bases and then we get onto the white. So I've got two different types of white. I got 350 GSM, the 75 sheets in this pack, and 300 GSM. This one is 100 sheets in this pack. So they're all A4, these ones. And these ones I got specifically for card bases or like 3D paper craft that needs a little bit more weight behind it. So if you're doing like boxes, or gift bags or things like that. This is the kind of one you would want. Um, I thought these were really affordable. I think these were around five pounds a pack and for that much card stock, especially this heavyweight stuff, I think that's really, really great. It looks, it's really nice bright white as well. It's really nicely packed. So there's no like scuffs on the corners. There's not gonna be anything in here that's unusable. Yeah, I was really pleased with this. It came really fast as well. I think I ordered it and it had arrived within like two days. I'm gonna give this a go and hopefully it's good quality it seems like it is if it is then i'll probably end up getting some more not that i need any more cardstock at the moment but <laughs> eventually i will need to replace some of the stuff i have in my stash so i mean yeah so that's the stack of cardstock they sent me and the other thing they sent me along with my order is a pack of samples now i thought this was really clever because they have so many different colors and patterns and stuff on there that it's quite difficult to tell you know what you're gonna like so the fact that they've included this with all the little off cuts and labeled them so i know what they are i thought that was really smart and really nice of them to do so this is a tartan printed one printed on 300 gsm card nice printing there it's a nice heavyweight thick card stock this is champagne 210 gsm it's a really nice shiny card stock it's a blue quartz that's a paper there's a nice green there, 240 GSM. There's another shimmery one. That's really, really nice. I hope the camera is picking up the shimmer on that. This is really pretty. Button blue. It's a really nice colour for baby cards. This is nice. Butterscotch in 330. That's really heavyweight. And it's a really nice colour. I really like that one. This is Jet Black 270 GSM. 
that's a nice black there's a rich metallic silver paper there a couple of pink ones that's the lemon zest I've already got that one poinsettia red that's really nice perfect for poinsettias at Christmas and then we've got some more shimmers at the bottom ice white shimmer Simply the best 250 GSM card, ultra white, silky smooth card, perfect for alcohol markers. Yeah, I was going to say this is the kind of thing like um, the ultra smooth card that Crafters Companion sells for doing alcohol marker colouring. That's really nice. Um, champagne Fountain. This one's got a little bit of a pattern printed on. That's really nice. And then this is Blossom 330 GSM, Sweet Pink, Apple and Ivory. So there's three different colours there. So really nice that they included these these are really good sizes for doing some die cuts as well so this is the kind of thing i would probably use i'll probably pop it in my scrap bag and you can try it out properly and see if you like it and then decide if it's something you want to get in your next order so um yeah big thank you to lime true craft all of the brands that i've ordered from today i'll pop in the description box if you want to go and check out lime tree craft you can and they're really affordable fast shipping and I was really impressed with the quality. And they are a small business, so if you are in the need of card cardstock, I would definitely go and check them out, especially if you are in the UK. Unusually, I also went shopping in person <laughs> since my last haul, which I don't do very often anymore, but I went to get some new glasses and it was a Saturday. So I also went to some of my favorite shops as well. So I went to Tiger and I found this adorable little one hole punch, which is gonna be so, so handy for punching holes and tags and stuff. It's gonna be much easier to line it up. The other hole punch I've got really is just like a normal office hole punch. And this would be much better for cutting holes exactly where I want them so I thought that was so cute I couldn't leave that one behind also went to the works and I got these two so this is a really really cute cutting die set with these banners that I thought was really nice don't have anything like this this is perfect for stamping sentiments on yeah just something that I didn't have in my stash and I thought that was a great price and I also got these adorable little picket fences which are wooden and they have these little wire pieces to hold them together this was a pound I just thought they were really cute nice one to have in the stash when you're doing garden cards and stuff like that and then the other shop I went to which I really really love I don't know if I talked about it that much on this channel is Sostrine Green now Sostrian Green is from like the Nordic countries I think it's like Denmark or Norway or somewhere like that I'm not 100% sure yeah somewhere like that I'm not 100% sure which country it's from so sorry I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments but Nottingham was one of the first cities in the UK to get this brand and the shop's been there for quite a few years now and I have spent a lot of money in it <laughs> it's mostly home stuff but they do have quite a lot of craft things so this is decoupage paper and there's quite a few different sheets in here I think there are two different designs in each pack so there's this really nice floral one which actually has gold foil on it it's kind of hard to show you because of the reflection it definitely does and then the other one these little dots which are again gold foil so that was really nice and there's this one as well which is a different one which is blue and it's got these little leaves on and then these little gold foil dots and then the back we've got some more like a branchy pattern and these packs were £2.34 each which is pretty pretty good I thought for some specialty paper I got this pack as well of this nice green cardstock I always seem to not have green cardstock so when I saw this I thought ah perfect for doing Christmas trees and things like that this was £1.96 and it, you get 10 sheets in there quite quite sturdy cardstock and then the other thing I got is this paper pack this is a 12 by 12 paper pack with a bunch of different patterns there's a couple that have foil so this one has foil here this one also has foil and I just thought they were really nice Oh, this one's foil as well with the little leaves. I can't really... I'll just take it out of the plastic so you can see. I thought these were some really nice patterns and they really went together nicely. There's a couple of gold foil. That one's the gold foil there. And then this one as well. And that one in the middle. So I thought they were a little bit of an unusual colour scheme. This paper pad is, it says 120 grams. So I guess that must be the, the GSM, but. 
And there's two sheets of each pattern in here. Really nice. I've got quite a few of these in different sizes. I think they do. They do an eight by eight as well. And they don't come out with them that often, but I, I think I have like pretty much all of them. <laughs> So that's everything from my in-person shopping trip. Well, everything that was craft related anyway, because I bought some other things. Somewhat else I placed an order with as well was Hobbycraft. When I was clearing out my kitchen to get ready for the new kitchen renovation, I actually found a £20 Hobbycraft gift card that I had like lost in a drawer like a year and a half ago. <laughs> so I thought it was about time that I used that before it went out of date. And they had a really nice collection on the Hobbycraft website, a nice Christmas collection. So essentially I've just got all the bits I liked in the collection and I'm hoping to do another Christmas card making video where I just use the whole paper pad so start with the paper pad this is a festive fun 12 by 12 paper pad from Hobbycraft and I really liked the color scheme on this and all the different patterns really liked all the different patterns in this I thought they went really really nicely together and they were really fun and modern. I really liked the colour scheme. And I just thought, well, I'm going to have that one. And then they had a lot of other bits to go with that as well. So this is the ephemera set that goes with that. Same part, part of the same collection. It's got two sheets of toppers, six loose toppers, four sheets of decoupage, three designs of pattern paper. So six pieces in total and two sheets of stickers. Yeah, I thought this was a, a perfect thing to add to the paper pad and just have a few more options. My other Christmas card making video where I used like stickers and Merry Little Christmas collection by Pebbles was quite popular and a lot of you said you liked that so I thought I'd try and do something a little bit similar to that for this Christmas with something that you can you can buy now because obviously you can't get that paper pad anymore. Um, just to show that you can make a lot of cards with really affordable supplies. So I know this was five pounds for this paper pad and this was four. So you could make um, a lot of cards with just these two very easily, but I thought I'd get a few more bits just to, you know, give myself a little bit more versatility. So there's also a bunch of these toppers. I've got two packs of these little wooden baubles and there's six in each. All the little packs of toppers were a pound each, so I didn't think that was too bad. I've got one of these, which are these little felt Scotty dogs with the little pom-poms on and they're just, they're so adorable. I could not get those. Perfect for if you've got friends who've got dogs. There's also these, which are little wooden houses, which again, I thought they were just too cute not to have, especially for a pound. Found these as well, which are little cardstock mistletoe pieces. There are six pieces in this pack, again, for a pound. The last toppers I got are these, I got two packs of these, these little cardstock toppers. They have got a little foam square on the back and their cardstock and then they've got like a little bit of holographic foil or gems on them. I just thought they were really cute. It's like a little pretzel. <laughs> that was really adorable. And I just I really like those a lot so I just got two packs. Why not, you know? I was trying to get to the minimum spend for free shipping, so that's why some of them I have two. The other thing I thought would be really good to go with that paper pad was some plain paper. Um, just for like mats and other things and just for you know a little bit more versatility and this one this forest haze they've got a lot of paper pads like this in different colors but i thought this one went really really nicely with the kind of colors in this paper pad it's not exactly the same but it's close enough so there are 24 sheets in here of 180 gsm acid free paper you get eight different colors a lot of them are matte colors so there's like this pale gray and then there is this which I really like so I think this is supposed to be like glitter but instead of being glitter it's a coloured cardstock with silver foil dots all that are sprinkled all over it um, I just think this is really nice way nicer than actual glitter cardstock and it'll be much easier to stick things to so this has um, surprised me I actually like this a lot more than I expected so that's that colour and then there is a similar colour in the sort of matte cardstock well, I mean, this is paper, isn't it? Sorry, but it's quite it's quite heavyweight for paper, I would say. I did think, is this actually cardstock? But, I mean, it's perfect for what I want it for. There's this pale peach sort of colour, which is nice in the matte. Then there is a pink. So, again, this is pink with, like, pink foil, which is really nice. It's so shiny and pretty. Really like that one. There's a lilac colour, which is great, because that matches really nicely with the paper pad and then a dark grey 
and that's the last one so pleased with that these are only a couple of pounds and they come in loads and loads of different colors so if i didn't already have absolutely loads of cardstock i'd probably get some more <laughs> oh let's be real i'll probably get some more anyway <laughs> i am looking forward to doing this project um hopefully i get to work on that soon i've never done one of these like kill a paper pad videos of a 12 by 12 pad before so i think that will be an interesting challenge and that's one of the reasons why i got the extra paper and the ephemera and all these extra bits because i thought i'm going to make so many more cards because it's a bigger paper pad so there was a little bit of logic going on there the only other things i got from hobbycraft are these really cute little cross stitch sets so these are sized to go on a three by three aperture card but what I got these for is to actually make them into Christmas decorations. So I'm planning on getting some little mini embroidery hoops, sewing these and then like mounting them into the embroidery hoop and then having them as like a little trio of Christmas decorations. I just thought that'd be so, so sweet. And uh, knowing how long it takes me to do a project that I've probably got enough time between now and Christmas this year to do them. <laughs> Cause they're only small. <laughs> so I got the little post box, I got the Robin and I got the snow globe. Uh, I just thought these went really nicely together. What I'll probably do is have this one in the middle and have them sort of like, like this, um, or maybe in a little like that. Who knows? We'll, we'll see, but I really want to make some more Christmas decorations this year because that's not something I've really done before. And I've got so much stuff in my craft room that I could use to make Christmas decorations that I just really need to just get on with it. So I hope to dedicate some time to that later this year. So that's everything I got from Hobbycraft. If you are looking for Christmas supplies, um, I was quite impressed with the selection at Hobbycraft. They've got a lot of own brand stuff in there at the moment in quite a lot of different styles. So depending on what your Christmas preference style wise is, I think you'll find something you really like. There's some more traditional stuff, some more modern stuff, some more fun stuff. This was the more like fun, like a little bit edgy. <laughs> it's not it's not edgy, a little bit unusual colour scheme, this one. So I thought that was really, really nice and unusual. So the very last place that I ordered from this month was Craft Stash. And I actually, everything I bought is from Crafters Consortium, which is not really a brand I have that much experience with. Um, but I just found some really, really nice bits that I'd not seen before. And as I was getting ready to check out, I discovered that Craft Stash had extra 10% off that day. So I got even more money off. So three pieces here from the Emporium collection. I have got the stamp set, the paper pad and the enamel dots. So the stamp set is all bugs. And I know, I know not everybody likes bugs, but I thought these were really nice. <laughs> really nice designs, really detailed. I thought these would be really great either for colouring or for embossing in like really cool colours. I really like that. And then I saw a couple of other bits in the range. So there was the 6x6 paper pad. And this was really nice, unusual patterns, really dark, kind of... I said edgy earlier, this is more edgy. <laughs> this would be really good for like masculine cards or people that are really into their bugs. I know a lot of people are interested in insects so i really like that really unusual patterns and something else that i discovered about these paper pads is on the inside back and front covers they print a load of extra toppers so this most paper pads this inside black cover would just be blank but in the crafters consortium ones they print a bunch of extra images on it that you can cut out and it says here additional topper elements so these are for you to cut out and use on your project and this so this paper pad essentially in my opinion was designed with one of those use up a whole paper pad projects in mind i think this is amazing there's no nothing wasted in this paper pad even the covers can be used on your projects so hats off to that i think my mine is actually falling out of the cover but that doesn't matter because i'm going to disassemble it to use it all anyway <laughs> so that's the paper pad really like that one and then the only other thing i got to go with that is the enamel dots Actually, I would describe these more like pearls because they are sort of iridescent. Really nice though, really like those. Really nice colours to go with this. The only thing about these is they're all the same size and usually when I use enamel dots, I will tend to use like a bunch of several different sizes on the card. But that's just my preference and it doesn't, that doesn't mean that they're going to look bad when I use them. So um, I do, I did get them anyway, clearly. <laughs> really nice bits from that collection and I think this would make a good 6x6 paper pad project. So I may do that one. 
soon with just i'll just pull in a couple of extra things from my stash and see what i can make and then this is exciting because i think these are brand new like i don't often have brand new things in my halls i'm usually buying things that are on sale or old but th these are new so uh i'm like you know ahead of the game here <laughs> this is the sandy paws collection from crafters consortium from craft consortium and sorry i called them crafters consortium earlier it's it's not that it's craft consortium so, sorry guys just getting your brand name wrong and they've collaborated with hell's couple ditch who has designed paper pads and products in crafting for many many years and she's worked with a few different brands but she currently works with craft consortium and this is a collection that is themed all around beach and cats and dogs so those are two things i absolutely love and i could not resist quite a large amount of the collection there is more than i have here so there's also a 12 by 12 paper pad bigger one of these there is another stamp set that i didn't get just because it didn't have any pets on <laughs> so i got three out of four of the stamp sets there's also loads of embellishments as well to go with it lots of different bits that go really really nicely with the collection but because i have so many things already um i didn't get any of those <laughs> um i just got the bits that i really really wanted and i thought these were really nice and i sound like a broken record but this is like a perfect little set to do a six by six paper pad project with so i'm going to stop like raving about them and actually show you them because that's probably what you want to see isn't it so this set is called ice cream and it's got a little ice cream van and a beach hut and a little dog with sandcastles so look a little bit closer so They've got the little dog here with this little sandcastle on his bucket. There's your beach hut. This is big ice cream van that's being driven by a cat. Actually, no, sorry, the cat's the passenger. Nobody's driving at the moment. Cats can't drive cars, can they? So <laughs> that would be very silly. Uh, and then there's a little windmill here and another little bucket and spade. So these are really, really cute. Love the art style. Really nice for colouring in. Um, I think that'll be super fun to use. So the other sets, this is the sandcastle set. There's this little bike here with a trailer, an umbrella, a seagull, and a little dog in the basket. That's so cute. There's also a crab here and a sandcastle, and then a dog and a cat sat on their holiday luggage with, he's got a little bucket. And then there's a little sandcastle competition today board here so again really nice little set really really like that and then the last set i think this one might be my favorite this is called bon voyage and i was just absolutely obsessed with this little set <laughs> especially this stamp at the top uh it's a little boat with there's a little cat captain with his little hat on that's so cute and some passengers there's some cats and dogs in here there's a little seagull on the front we've got another crab having a little swim there's a bon voyage sentiment there and an ahoy there sentiment as well we've got another seagull and then there's this big sailboat at the bottom with the dogs in and the cute little sails and that was just so so cute i love that so much so really really like these three i thought i would just get all three really like those I think this would be really fun to stamp a load, colour a load, and then use them as toppers on your card. And then the paper pad. So there wasn't really any pictures of this. Um, and I was a little bit worried because when you can't really see inside what all the patterns are like, it's a little bit of a risk, but I just thought I'd take the risk anyway. And I'm happy I did. So there's 40 double-sided sheets in here and they are 200 GSM paper with 150 GSM per lesson one. So there's a few in here that are... That have effects on so again you've got the inside covers have got these extra toppers which are really nice really clever to include that then there's a couple of cut apart sheets so these are really nice if you want to make a quick card just have a little flick through of this one because there's so much detail in here this one is more of a strip pattern i really like that and it's the same on the other side so it'd be really nice to cut this piece and use it on your card, I think. Really, really nice. We've got some beach huts. This side is just plain and this side is spot UV. So they're like, the beach huts are like embossed with clear gloss. As if you would have used a clear embossing powder. Then we've got some sailboats. These are two different coloured backgrounds, which I think is really nice. We've 
got some more bunting here, really nice colours. There's some sandcastles, so this is just normal sandcastles, and then this one has got little crabs that again they've got the spot UV on them. Then we have got this checkered pattern, and then this paw print one, which again they're spot UV paw prints, so you can see them shining. And then we've got some sentiment paper. So this has got a bunch of different sentiments on, including ice cream, all aboard, soaking up the sun, seize the day, beach, beside the seaside, sandy pores, and it comes in two different colours. So you've got a plain white background and a pink. I think that's really nice. You could cut these out and use them as toppers, but I, in my opinion, I think they're a little bit too small. So I think just to use it as a little piece on your card is probably what I would do. We've got some nice wooden plank print here. That's really nice, nice for a more neutral pattern. And then in the back there are some dots. So, and you've got your more toppers in the back. So I think the only pearlescent paper in here was this one, which is a little bit shiny. I don't know if you can tell, but it is a little bit pearlescent and it's slightly thinner than the other ones, but there's not a huge difference. All the others are either plain or they have the spot UV. So really like that collection. I'm glad I got it. Um, I don't think there was anything else in the collection that I would have necessarily used, but I think these on their own are gonna make for a really nice project. And I'm looking forward to using those. So there's so much, I can't fit it all in the shop. Uh... <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. All the links to all of the stores and all of the products in this video, if they're still available, will be in the description box so you can go check them out if you want to. Don't forget to like this video before you leave and subscribe to my channel for more because I do a video like this every month. I'll put the link to my playlist of all of these in the description box so you can have like a binge watch if you fancy it. I hope to see you back here on my channel again soon and bye for now. Bye!